What you're about to hear are all real reviews from Karens across the great United States of America. There are sometimes restaurants that are reviewed, other times establishments, purchases made. Either way, just know that these the things that you're about to hear are actually pretty well reviewed through and through. There's just certain glaring uh, instances where the Karens want to make sure that the world knows this is not as good as it is all cracked up to be on the Internet. There are problems with your establishment or business or trade secret that you may be protecting. I need to let the world know what it's really like inside of your restaurant. Dave, there is no industry that is safe from the Karens and the Darens of the world. They can make it break with the stroke of a key your entire life. They really think that. In fact, this first one is incredibly entertaining because of the time jump that we're going to deal with here. I'll explain in a moment. This is Lalo's Taqueria in Lebanon, New Hampshire. It's got four and a half out of five stars. So Alan said, found this place by accident. Did you had say eaten here to- Lalo's? Lalo's. L-A-L-O-S. Taqueria. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, in, in Lebanon, New Hampshire. So this is say he said, eaten here twice. Simply wonderful tacos. Have made it my go-to lunch place when I'm yearning for Mexican food, which is frequently. Dude, you are a bold person. If you are going full-blown taqueria for lunch, on a work day, Johnny H said five out of five. The flavors are all there. They taste fresh and are all handmade. The colors mm. with all the veggies and seasoning look amazing. They also have vegan options, which is great. So yummy. Mm. Karen Kay did not have a great experience. She said one out of five stars. I had a bad experience back in 2005. So I hope this review is still relevant. Back in 2005, the food was great. It was delicious, but the service was horrible. Maybe because I am attractive. If anyone's ever been to Lebanon, New Hampshire, they will realize there is not much diversity and attractiveness compared to other parts of the U.S. I am originally from the West Coast, in case you need a clearer idea of how I look compared to the rest of the population. The wait staff practically ignored me. I even gave them a tip. Now I look back, why did I do that? They did not deserve it in 2005 or today! You waited 16 years to post a review on the internet? That was literally posted just a couple of months ago. That is amazing. <laughs> she holds a grudge. <laughs> like Mahoney-level grudge. Yeah, that is a... Uh, wow. You, you've been waiting for almost a couple of decades to unleash the hatred on this Tuckeria well, in Lebanon because you're too attractive? Yeah, everybody knows an attractive woman never forgets. Yeah, Same thing with them and this. elephants. <laughs> All right, let's go to the uh, to the Casa Indian Eatery. This is in San Francisco. It's got four out of five stars. Clarissa said five out of five. This place is like if Chipotle were to meet Indian food. Love the concept. Ooh, okay. David F. said that. five out of five. Stopping here knowing I like Indian food, not knowing what to expect. I am 110% happy. We stopped. I had a delicious burrito. It's one of the best Indian restaurants I've ever had. Sounds great. Wow. Uh, well, until you get to Karen E's review, one out of five stars. Sat down and the owner came over to our table. She introduced herself and asked for our drink orders. It was then that I noticed they serve off of metal plates. I asked her if she had any glass or wood or plastic or paper, and she said she would see what she could do. And then I asked for my drink order again. I already gave it to you. Excuse me. She then reiterated that she was the owner. Super, got that the first time you mentioned it. And then she asked me if I was OCD. No, I'm not OCD. I just don't care for metal plates. So I ordered my drink, and they were out of Diet Coke. Well, okay, I will just leave. And then she gave us a coupon, but my husband said, you're rude. We won't be returning. Thank you anyhow. That sounds like pretty good customer service, right? Like, sorry, we don't have anything other than metal plates. That's what we do. Here's a coupon. Please come back some other time. Sorry, we're out of Diet Coke, Karen. That yeah. sucks. Being out of your drink sucks. I am all on board for the anti-metal plate, though. Really? Why? Because whenever it's fork to knife, and it's... It's a burrito. <laughs> you're not eating a burrito with a fork unless you're a communist. And finally, this is the first alert CO400 carbon monoxide detector from Amazon. It's got 11,000 plus reviews on Amazon.com. Four and a half out of five stars. Colleen said five out of five. The alarm went off five hours ago. Four beep sounded. I thought, no way, must be the battery. Changed out the battery, kept beeping, went outside, called 911. Fire department came out, did not detect anything. I felt bad for bothering them until they went next door and discovered an unattended car running in the garage. We are connected townhouses. No one was injured. I'm feeling very thankful. This saved my life. Thank you. I mean, that's big, right? That's a crazy review. That's a crazy review. Uh, Jamie said five out of five stars. Works. 
crazy review. That's it. Wait, just did, works. Was that first only a four out of five? No, no, that's five out of five. Okay, I was like, o- overall, this has four and okay, a half out like, of five stars. Like it saved their life, but only four out of five stars. I don't like the color. Yeah, Col- Colleen said five out of five saved my life. Uh, Jamie, five out of five works. So I- I'm curious to hear what this Karen's issues with uh, this it's carbon not monoxide. A Karen. This is a Darren, oh, the okay. male version of a Karen. Okay. He said, one out of five stars. It's hard to review this product because I have no idea if it works or not. I'm scoring this low, but will update if I can truly test the product. I've had CO problems in the past, but I'm not sure at the moment. Again, if I have a CO problem and the alert sounds, I will update my review. If I have a carbon monoxide problem and it does not sound, I will be dead and unable to update this review. I sure hope it works. One out of five stars. Signed, Garrett. Does it have a battery light indicator on it? That's what I want. It does not say whether or not, but I like that he just de facto goes to a one out of five stars and he's like, if it works, I'm coming back. If not, dead, buried to the ground. (laughs)